In the ever-evolving world of modern air power, where technological advancements redefine the very nature of aerial combat, two jets, each representing the pinnacle of their nation's aerospace engineering, dominate the conversation. America's F-35 Lightning II and China's J-20 Mighty Dragon. These fifth-generation fighters embody different philosophies and strategic priorities. The F-35, built by Lockheed Martin, a testament to American ingenuity and manufacturing prowess, is the backbone of U.S. and Allied Air Forces, serving as a multi-role combat aircraft for a wide array of nations. It's designed for versatility, excelling in air combat, where its advanced sensors and maneuverability provide a decisive edge, ground attack, delivering precision strikes against enemy targets, and intelligence gathering, providing critical information to commanders on the ground and in the air, all in a stealthy package. Its low radar cross-section makes it difficult to detect, enhancing its survivability in contested airspace. Its networked warfare approach makes information as vital as firepower. The F-35 can share data with other aircraft and ground units, creating a comprehensive battle space picture. Across the Pacific, the J-20 is China's first operational stealth fighter, a symbol of China's growing military might and technological prowess, a symbol of its ambition to challenge U.S. air dominance. It represents a significant leap forward in China's ability to project power beyond its borders. Unlike the widely exported F-35, which is flown by numerous allied nations, the J-20 is reserved for China alone, reflecting its strategic importance and the sensitive technology it embodies. It's built for long-range missions and deep strikes, designed to reach distant targets and cripple enemy infrastructure. The F-35 is the experienced veteran, refined by years of coalition use. Its combat record speaks to its reliability and effectiveness. The J-20 is the fast-evolving challenger shrouded in secrecy, with its capabilities and limitations still largely unknown to the outside world. Both jets push the limits of aerial warfare, representing the cutting edge of fighter technology and aerial combat doctrine. They are forcing strategists to rethink air combat, prompting new tactics and strategies to counter their advanced capabilities. As of 2025, both are fully operational, serving as key components of their respective nation's air power, with upgraded tech and growing fleets, ensuring their continued relevance in the years to come. The rivalry between these two aircraft could define the balance of power for decades, shaping the future of air warfare and international relations. Forget the classic image of close-range twisting dogfights reminiscent of World War II films. The reality of aerial combat has drastically evolved. In 2025, Air combat starts long before pilots ever visually acquire each other. The engagement begins in the digital realm, far beyond the horizon. Today it's fundamentally a battle of information, a contest of sensors and data processing. It's about who detects the other first, gaining that crucial initial advantage and who fires first dictating the terms of the engagement. Stealth jets like the F-35 and J-20, paragons of modern air power, rely heavily on advanced sensors and sophisticated electronic warfare systems to remain hidden from enemy radar and strike from afar, often before they are even detected. Most duels begin with long-range, radar-guided missiles, the AMRAMs and Meteors of the world, often fired at distances exceeding visual range, before the enemy even knows they're targeted, turning the sky into a deadly game of cat and mouse. If those initial shots miss their mark, or if electronic warfare successfully disrupts the enemy's sensors, creating confusion and uncertainty, the fight can then close to visual range, becoming a swirling dance of metal and fire where split-second decisions, superior agility, and raw pilot skill once again become paramount. Modern dogfights are multi-layered, a complex interplay of technology and human factors. It's electronic hide-and-seek at extreme speeds, followed by a possible close-range brawl where instinct takes over. Pilots must master both aspects of this new reality, skillfully managing complex systems while simultaneously flying at the very edge of their jet's performance capabilities. Ultimately, air superiority remains the key to victory in any conflict, ensuring freedom of action and control of the skies. Stealth is the core of both the F-35 and J-20, but their approaches differ. The F-35 is built for all aspects stealth, Hard to spot from any angle, with smooth surfaces, internal weapons bays, and radar-absorbent skin. Its design is the result of decades of American stealth innovation. The J-20, meanwhile, is optimized for frontal stealth, making it hard to detect head-on but potentially more visible from the sides or rear. 
Features like canards and engine nozzles may compromise its stealth in certain scenarios. The F-35's all-aspect stealth favors unpredictable dogfights. The J-20's frontal stealth is ideal for long-range strikes. These design philosophies shape how each jet fights and survives in combat. The F-35's true power lies in its sensors and data fusion, its advanced radar, 360-degree infrared cameras and electronic warfare suite combine all information into a single clear picture for the pilot. This sensor fusion gives F-35 pilots unmatched situational awareness and decision speed. The F-35 acts as a flying information hub, sharing data with other jets, ships, and command centers. The J-20 sensors are less public but it boasts a powerful radar and advanced targeting systems, likely rivaling Western tech. China is rapidly improving its electronic warfare and networking, but the F-35's combat-proven integration remains a step ahead. In a sensor war, the F-35's networked advantage could be decisive. Information dominance may matter more than raw firepower. When combat gets close, speed and agility become critical. The J-20 is large, twin-engined, and likely capable of supercruise, fast, with excellent acceleration and quick turns. Its size favors hit-and-run tactics, not prolonged dogfights. The F-35 isn't as fast but its high angle of attack performance and advanced flight controls let it point its nose and missiles at targets even at low speeds. In a merge, the J-20 would try to dictate the fight with speed, the F-35 would slow things down, using its agility and helmet-mounted sights. Each jet's strengths shape its tactics, the J-20 for quick strikes, the F-35 for creating unique firing opportunities. Victory goes to the pilot who best exploits their aircraft's unique abilities. Weapons are absolutely critical. They define a fighter's capabilities and its role in aerial combat. Both the F-35 and the J-20 are designed as stealth aircraft, and therefore carry their most advanced missiles internally. This internal carriage is essential to minimize radar cross-section and maintain their stealth profile, allowing them to penetrate contested airspace more effectively. The F-35 in its stealth configuration typically carries four missiles internally, balancing offensive firepower with the need to remain undetected. These usually include two long-range AMRAMs, or advanced medium-range air-to-air missiles. Supplementing the AMRAMs are two agile sidewinders, which are short-range, heat-seeking missiles ideal for close-quarters dogfighting. To round out its arsenal, the F-35 also boasts an internal cannon, a gun designed for close combat engagements, where missile use might be impractical or undesirable. However, the F-35 can also load up with external weapons on underwing pylons, entering what's often referred to as beast mode. This configuration significantly increases its payload, but it comes at the cost of stealth, making it suitable only for scenarios where stealth isn't a primary concern. The J-20, with its larger frame and internal volume, allows for the carriage of at least six missiles internally providing a greater initial punch. This includes the long-range PL-15, a missile that has garnered attention for its extended reach. The PL-15's range is such that it may potentially outrange the F-35's AMRAM, giving the J-20 an edge in initial engagement distances. This extended range gives the J-20 a potential first-shot advantage in long-range duels, forcing the F-35 to react defensively or close the gap. However, missile effectiveness is not solely determined by range, it also critically depends on the sophistication of its guidance systems, its resistance to electronic warfare jamming, and the accuracy of the targeting data it receives. These are areas where the F-35's advanced networked systems and sensor fusion capabilities truly excel, potentially negating the J-20's range advantage. The J-20's bigger payload and longer-range missiles certainly present a significant threat. But the F-35's proven systems integration, sensor fusion, and electronic warfare capabilities could ultimately tip the balance in a complex aerial engagement. In a real fight, it's not just about who has the longer reach or the bigger payload. Ultimately, it's about who can effectively use their technology and training to make their shot count when it matters most. So, who wins? A 2025 dogfight between the F-35 and J-20. The F-35's edge is its all-aspect stealth, sensor fusion, and unmatched networking. The J-20 brings speed, altitude, and a heavier missile load, built for long-range interception. The real decider? the pilot's skill, training, and the support network behind them. Air combat is a team effort with AWACS, satellites, and command centers playing crucial roles. On paper, both jets are formidable, but victory depends on technology, tactics, teamwork, 
and the human factor. In the end the outcome is never certain only the stakes are.